Why is it that I do my best thinking in graveyards? I'm not super into religious stuff. But there's something about this place, this calm, quiet green in the middle of the city, full of all these people that mattered a lot to someone. People that lived whole lives boiled down to a couple words on a piece of stone. I wonder if they had any input in what was written, and if they would like it, if they could see it. Maybe it doesn't matter. Hey Craig! How's it going? I want to say it's my inclination towards adventure that sends me down these more reflective and wandering pathways, but I also just have really bad cell phone service here, so that might be a part of it too. In high school, my friends all wanted to do the bowling league, so I was on a bowling team. I don't remember if our team was any good, but I remember laughing a lot. They all went to college on the West Coast, and I took a year off to try to be a social revolutionary. It didn't work out. Sometimes I'll bump into somebody that I haven't seen in, like, ten years, and they'll remember my name, and I never remember their name. And it's always so embarrassing, but I hate asking. It usually just turns into an awkward moment, because they can definitely tell that I don't remember their name. I thought that was a little church the first time I saw it. It's actually just one really fancy gravestone. I wonder how long it takes before the stone itself is more of a memory than the person beneath it. This rock is gonna outlast the people that care about you. That's weird. Sometimes you get lucky and your rock is next to somebody else's rock. And that way, if they're having a hard time, or if you're having a hard time, you got a little bit of support. When do you stop being anxious about asking people for chocolate milk? When someone in my family takes too long to return a text message, I get worried that something bad happened. I've been flossing more, and I'm still having trouble sleeping. And that lady's head on that pillow looks like the poop emoji. Over the past couple years, my family has gotten a lot closer. There's a sense of comfort and stability that comes with proximity. Sometimes, even though you have people around you, you struggle alone. I need to eat breakfast more. I always forget. My favorite gravestones by far are these ones with garden beds built into them. It's like buying someone a potted plant as opposed to a bouquet of flowers, except you probably are gonna get to see and smell them more than the person that you're getting them for. Did they plug this tree in upside down? Not only did I not notice this bird until I scared it away, I didn't notice it until I watched this footage. I used to have this problem where every time I would go to a restaurant, I would try to figure out what's the most food I could get for the least amount of money, and I'd end up with something that I didn't really want and a stomach ache. I'm still not convinced a clean room feels nicer than a messy one, and I still fantasize about going on quests for buried treasure and forgotten magic. I've been here a while, so I should probably start heading home. Maybe I'll make some art tonight. I haven't done that in a while. But if there's a new episode of The Last of Us, I'll probably watch that instead. If you haven't seen it yet, it's a pretty good show. 